Sort of feels like returning to the scene of the crime. Blood's been wiped clean. But you can still hear the screams inside these walls. Mom didn't let what happened to her define her. You shouldn't either. You act as if I have a choice. I'm a Cassidyne, molded in the images of those before me, my father and my grandfather, even my uncle. All monsters in their own right. Helena wants you to doubt yourself, to think that you're no better than she is. Don't let her inside your head. No, oh, it's not what's inside my head that concerns me, Lulu. It's what's inside my heart. You have a good heart, Nicholas. There isn't anything you wouldn't do for the people you love. I'm not as selfless as you may think, Lulu. You donated your bone marrow when I was a baby and saved my life. You gave me a second chance. That's exactly what you're doing with Lucky by letting him be a father to Aiden. Lucky was hanging on by a string when Jake died. He needs to believe that Aiden is his son, whether he is or he isn't. That's the definition of selfless to me. Yeah, well, it's more like a force of habit, if you ask me. When I first moved to Port Charles, everyone was so concerned about how Lucky would feel knowing that his mother had another son. Never mind how I would feel meeting the woman who left me behind. You understand? I was the, the inconvenience, the big dark secret that came to town to haunt the perfect Spencer family. That's how, that's how I experienced it. But Mom loves you, and you know that. It's always about Lucky, isn't it? It's always about Lucky. What does he need? How does he feel? Is he happy? Well, what about my happiness? For years, I begged and I begged and I begged for acceptance trying to prove that I was worthy to be a part of your family. And with Aiden, I finally had a family of my own. I was happy. He would grow up with his brother, Spencer, loving him the way it should be. And now I'm expected to give that up so lucky can be happy. But you chose to walk away. You know, I often wonder if it were the other way around, would people rush to make sure that Aiden ended up with me? I, th I think not. I, I thought that you wanted Lucky to heal and you wanted to move on. Yes. That is exactly what I want, to move on. No Spencers, no Cassidines. So is this new Nicholas? <laughs> to hell with everyone else? <laughs> Lulu, there's nothing new about a Cassidine living in darkness. That's what we do. It's amazing what happens to people inside this place. I mean, look what's already happening to you. Okay. I do not care what people think of me or my motives anymore, okay? The only one looking for approval right now is you. What? Uh, do, you, um, do you know where my dad is? Has Elena done something to him? You know something? Ah, uh, do I know something? Yes, I know something. And that is you should leave here and never come back. Why are you doing this? I fancy a drink. <gasps> Eureka! This is Nicholas Cassidyne meeting his needs. That's an unfamiliar concept, I realize. But it is to me, too. But you've done all right for yourself. N no, I've done all right. For everyone else. Oh, everyone including me. You said it for me. 
So you regret the bone marrow transplant now? No. No, I do not. I regret not having a choice about anything. If mom hadn't claimed you as her son, you would have grown up here and turned into an awful person like Helena, whose only goal in life is to make everyone as miserable as she is. Is that what you really want? I don't know what I really want. But I can tell you I'll figure it out. Well, figure it out away from here, away from Helena. You're not going to stand a chance. Nice. That's the point. I never did stand a chance. Oh. Sounds like a celebration is in order to me. Care to join me in a toast? To eternal damnation. That's what my dad drinks. You know how many people drink this brand? Careful. You're showing your desperation. He's in on some kind of diamond heist with Helena, is it true? I don't know. I just got here. Don't know how long I'll be here. I assume that, uh, that you didn't come alone? Dante's here. Mm. Yes, I know. Followed you halfway around the world just so you could have a chance to tell your father how much you love him. Well, everyone else has given up on him and walked away. But you haven't. And you're dragging your boyfriend over the wicked walls of hell just to join in on the insanity. And this is a man who has shown you every day how much he loves you. What does he get in return? You drop him in the middle of the lion's den with my grandmother and l risk his life? I've warned Dante. <laughs> what if... What if my grandmother would have killed him? What then? What would you have done then? Put blood-colored roses upon his chest and continued to look for Luke? Because clearly, the only thing that you care about is being a hero. Just like our mother. Hello. Um, I just found out that he was visiting. It's a nice place you got here. You, uh... Keep the bats caged up, you let them roam free. <laughs> I'll leave you two to talk uh, about leaving. Where are you going to go? There you go again, Lulu. Worrying about what everyone else is going to do. Well, look at you. The image of your father. Was the goal all along, wasn't it? To groom and program a suitable replacement. Oh, all that rage, all that potential wasted on that simpering baby dispenser, Elizabeth. Oh, Nicholas. Nicholas, will you stay? I am not the image of my father or anyone else in this family. No one, including you, should bet on what I'm going to do next. <laughs>